In this video, I'm gonna take a deep dive inside DaVinci Resolve's Fusion page and show you exactly how to achieve locked on stabilization for smooth, stable car shots. You'll learn how to pick the right tracker, avoid common stabilization mistakes, and how to get that professional locked on stabilization look that makes your car videos stand out. Let's get into it. Even with a gimbal, sudden movements, walking on uneven surfaces, or just in general shooting around a car can introduce unwanted motion. While the Edipage stabilizer is great for quick fixes, Fusion gives you the power to fine tune the stabilization a bit more and target specific types of motion common in car shots, like push-ins, reveals, or basic tracking shots. So let's break it down. There are two types of effects in Fusion to stabilize footage, tracker and planar tracker. The tracker is perfect for locking onto small details like a car badge, headlight, or side mirror. I usually a lot of times will start with the tracker and use the IntelliTracker, which I believe only comes with the studio version. It's fast and lightweight, but it does have its limitations. On the other hand, the planar tracker excels at stabilizing flat surfaces like uh, the side of a car, front grille, or the side of a wheel. And it's often more accurate than uh, traditional point trackers. We'll start with the tracker, which is the fastest and easiest way to stabilize your footage. First step is to open your clip in Fusion. So in the edit page, select the clip that you wanna stabilize, right click and choose open in Fusion page. Step two, add a tracker node. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in the node area, hold the shift button and then press the space bar and that'll bring up the search menu and start typing in tracker. Add the tracker node between the media in and media out nodes. Step three, set up the tracker. Place the tracking area over a high contrast detail, like a headlight or the grill badge. Something sharp that stays visible for the entire shot. With the tracker selected, change the adaptive mode to best match. Step four, track the motion. Next, we're gonna click track forward and track backward to analyze the movement. You'll see a motion path that shows how the camera is moving. Step five, apply the stabilization. Once it's done tracking, Go to the Operation tab, switch to Match Move, and change Foreground over Background to Background Only. Fusion will stabilize the shot based on the tracking point. Step 6. Fine Tune the Stabilization. Finally, add a Transform node after the tracker to smooth things out. You can tweak the smoothness, center position, and crop if you need to clean up the edges. Many times I will also keyframe starting from the beginning and then making adjustments towards the end of the clip. That way it's, it's nice and smooth. And that's it. So now let's talk about the planar tracker. A lot of times I'll use when the shot involves a larger area or some perspective shifts such as maybe an orbit shot. So here's how I like to use it. So same thing, open the clip in Fusion, hold shift and press the space bar and this time choose planar tracker. So we're gonna draw a shape around the side of this wheel. In the settings, change the motion type to translation, and this helps when the shot has uh, rotation or any angle changes. And then next, we're gonna track forward and we'll just let Fusion do its thing. After you apply the stabilization, we're gonna switch it to steady mode. And boom, there we go. The area we selected is uh, pretty much steady while everything else around it moves. Both the tracker and planar tracker are super useful for making your shots look more cinematic and professional. I'd recommend using the tracker for small details like a logo, headlight, or steering wheel. Use the planar tracker for larger surfaces like the side of a car, the hood, front grille. Always pick something with a lot of contrast. Smooth, shiny surfaces can confuse a tracker. If this video helped you out, hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more car video tips and drop a comment below. What's the hardest shot you've ever had to stabilize? I'd love to hear from you. My name is Andrew Cooper at andrewcoopervideo.com. I'll see you next time. Take care.